In today's video, we're going to be testing out this hand nail e-file drill, whatever you want to call it. Together with Professional Nail Hand Beauty, we're going to be testing out the super affordable e-file. It retails for under 200 rand. Very intrigued to see if it'll actually work. I don't have any high hopes, but let's give it a try. In the box, you basically have your essentials. You have your little container of drill bits. There is a selection in there. I honestly don't think you're going to use many. Then you have the little power plug, power supply, and then you have the actual e-file component. It's really cool that you can actually adjust, adjust your speeds. So it should make it super versatile and beginner friendly. So today I'm going to run it through two different tests. One is to actually remove bulk product and the other we're just going to be removing a gel top coat. So to get the actual drill bit on you just need to press the little button and screw the little top part. For this one I'm going to use a mandrel bit which is this one right here. That allows you to put the sanding band on sanding bands are super versatile as well you can use it for pretty much everything so as i mentioned i'm going to start off by removing bulk product in the beginning it worked really well like as you guys can see it's removing quite a bit of bulk product it is making quite a big indent i had high hopes from this get-go then as it continued i find that the drill bit actually started stopping and I honestly don't know what the cause of this was. I thought maybe my speed might have been too low. I moved up the speed, but it still stopped. And the weird thing is that all that I had to do to get it going again was actually twisting the drill bit. So that was very annoying. So I just wanted to leave this part in so you guys can actually see that it stopped quite a few times. I even did like a little test on my finger and just touching my glove the drill bit stopped. As I mentioned, I tried adjusting the speed, that did not help. So would I say this is helpful in removing bulk product? Definitely not. I don't think it can withstand it. The product that I have on here is polygel and it is not exactly a thick coat. So I don't know what is up with that one. And before we moved on to the second little test, I actually found that the actual component, the drill itself, was starting to get rather warm. Especially in what I presume to be the battery powered area, it was starting to get quite a bit hot. I mean, it wasn't like burnt to the touch kind of hot, but it is quite unusual. On to the second test, as I mentioned, we're just going to remove this gel top coat that is on this nail. Now, this worked perfectly. It worked really well to be honest it was really effortless i changed out for a new sanding band and it removed the top coat really well it did not stop which is really great but at weird at the same time <laughs> So while it removes gel polish really well, would I recommend this? Not really, because it's really not recommended to remove gel polish with an e-file. You can damage your nails very easily. So yeah, all in all, honestly, this e-file gets a thumbs down from me. I just don't think it is powerful enough and the price point should really not be the selling point for you. I'd say just save up a little bit more, shop around a little bit more and try and find an e-file that can do what you want it to do. If you guys want to check out more information about the e-file, I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Let me know down below. Have you tried an e-file like this? Do you like it? Have you had any problems with it? Did I do something wrong? Please let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.